that's better. Hi there, welcome to How To Creative, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my new freshly built PC that I got right here. Uh, and I've been building it two weeks ago, I think. If you didn't see that video, check it out here, I think somewhere. Okay, so if you're a content creator, you probably have been deciding whether you would buy a MacBook Pro or something like that, that I got right here as well. And I absolutely love this thing, but when it comes to power, so when it comes to power, I needed a little extra and the thing is that MacBooks are pretty expensive and you can go for an iMac but I wanted to get more power so I can do my rendering. I use Premiere Pro anyways. So if you start building a PC, something like this, you're gonna decide on all your parts. So your SSD, your CPU, your GPU, the case, the motherboard that sticks it all together. What do you need for a good build and you need to have it work all together. You need to start thinking about a budget. What are you willing to spend on this new PC? I got mine around $1,700 or euros. I wanted it to be less than 2000 and I'm pretty happy with it. If you compare it to a MacBook Pro, it's shocking. It's two different devices, but still, if you keep that in mind, this is a beast. So talking about components, I had mine in head. I really researched my components and I wanted it to be like a white theme-ish. First of all, I looked at the case. I needed a case that kind of will fit all my components and it needed to be white. Well, then I got this Next H510i, which includes a controller unit that also controls uh, temperature and the LEDs, LEDs, which I think is very nice. Also has a cam application on your desktop that I will show as well. So this case also provides an easy cable management. Third thing is it has a glass panel. When I sit at my desk, I can always see what's going on in my computer, how fast this, the fans are spinning, and just the beautiful aesthetics of the computer as well. I, I just love that. And if you're a content creator designer, you probably like that too, I think. Keeping in mind that this case has a front unit of a USB-C and a USB-A 3.1 and a headphone jack, this needed to be on the motherboard as well. The next unit is the CPU. I wanted something that I could render with very quickly and edit with very quickly, mostly editing because that is CPU based most of all. If you use DaVinci Resolve, that's a different case because then you use GPU. But with Premiere Pro, it's CPU heavy. I got the Ryzen 7 3700X and I think that is for its price very strong. I also have been told that it's very good with editing. With 4K native resolution, editing is super smooth. And then the CPU for its price also comes with a stock cooler. So it comes with a prism cooler. And this prism cooler is very nice. I have been a little cutting budget on this one because I thought I'd just use the stock one. If I ever think about getting a separate cooler, that would be very nice while water cooling it with a white theme as well instead of this black one. But that is just for the future. I think this works great. My temperatures are very good, I think. So that is all fine. This CPU doesn't have integrated graphics. So you would need an extended GPU in order to have uh, yeah, to, to connect your screen. You're, you're not able to view what's, on, what's going on without an external GPU. So that's important to keep in mind. Next thing is the GPU. I got the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super. It's an eight gigabyte video card and it's super fast. I got it in white edition and I live in the Netherlands and for me it was pretty hard to actually find this edition, but I'm very satisfied I did. This case also supports a vertical mounting possibility for the GPU. I thought of doing this, but eventually I didn't because it would cost you an extra 50 for the PCI riser, right, riser card. And it doesn't add anything other than how it looks. So next thing is RAM. Probably if you're a content creator, you use a lot of different applications at the same time. For example, I use Premiere Pro and at the same time After Effects integrated together. That costs you a lot of RAM. And these applications in general cost you a lot of RAM. Now, a lot of PCs have, for example, 16 gigabytes of RAM or even eight. Uh, my MacBook has 16. I chose to go for 32 gigabytes at first. I got the Vengeance RGB Pro White 32 gigabyte RAM sticks. And also in white edition, that also goes with the theme. I'm very happy with that. The RGB looks nice. So 
RAM is not only important with how much you got, but also how fast it is. So I got mine 3200 MHz and also AMD works very different with RAM. So therefore it's important to keep in mind before you build it, what kind of RAM you're using. I should have put more research into this, but I think these RAM sticks work fine with AMD as well. And uh, the 3200 megahertz is also fine. So think about speed and capacity uh, before moving on. So SSD, also a very important thing. I got the Samsung Evo Plus one terabyte M2 SSD, a uh, solid state drive, and it's super fast. And why you need a super fast SSD is because you probably are working with a lot of data. And if you are working with a lot of data, you need to copy or write it or edit it very fast. Also, you can boot your system on the SSD. You can install the just the basic applications on there. You can install basic files on there and it all will be be very fast. So you're trying to make sure to have as less bottlenecking as possible within your system. So an SSD drive really helps, a fast SSD drive really helps with that. Keeping in mind, this SSD is an M2 variant, so it goes directly onto your motherboard. It's a nice bridge because talking about the motherboard, I got an Aorus uh, 470X Ultra Gaming motherboard. It's kind of a little cheaper variant, but it provides everything I needed. Some things that were important for me coming back to what I said earlier is that it needed a front USB-C and USB 3.1 and a headphone jack. Well, that it all provides that, so that's very nice. And as well, you have two M2 slots, so you can put not only one SSD, but two very fast SSDs on there. Talking about the RAM, I now have two slots of RAM, but the uh, motherboard actually provides four slots. So if I want to have not only two, but four, that I can expand in the future as well. Last but not least, we have the power supply. I got the Corsair CX uh, 750 watts. It kind of does the job, nothing much to tell about that. One thing to keep in mind though, is that if you get this one, get the modular one. I got the non-modular one and I found out that a couple euros more you have the modular one and you could leave out a lot of cables. So that kind of concludes the parts. I still wanna talk a little about the applications and programs I use to control the looks of this PC. So first off, we have RGB Fusion, that is an application or program provided by the motherboard itself where you can control all the uh, RGB from all the components. So the second application is where it gets very interesting. So it's the CAM application, an application provided by Nex itself. You can control the temperatures and as well as the LEDs, the LEDs that are inside uh, the, the case and you can also add additional LEDs. It's just very uh, a nice program and you can keep in touch with how your computer is performing. So then we have the third application that is the Cooler Master application that is to control the Wraith Cooler uh, LEDs. With these three applications you can control all the RGB in this PC. So that kind of concludes the whole part and the buying guide for this PC. I really like this PC until now. It's been giving me such a good time. It's super quick. I also want to do another video still on how I uh, customize this PC to look more like Mac and to be super easy in usability. Um, but I'll do that later. I'll put that in the description as well when it's finished. And furthermore, if you're going to build this PC, have a lot of fun researching. Uh, building it will probably be a hassle, but eventually it will be so worth it. I'm so happy pressing that on button every day. It's so beautiful to look at. Thank you so much for watching. This was Hout Creative. Bye.